What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. First of all, these things on boxes, on cardboard, I hate them. I really do. Anyway, let's continue. The purpose of today's video is about organization and making things a little more productive for me. A little less strenuous and a little less crazy. So I started looking around in the garage. I, I'm not in the process I'm in the process of uh, looking for land, figuring out where I want to live with my family and, and possibly designing a home. So another year or so, I'm stuck in this place. It's fine. Good place. But there's things that need to get changed. Uh, we got messes and messes, and it's because I'm running out of places to put things. So I started looking around for inspiration, and I see inspiration here and here and here, and it's pegboard. If you're an OCD OG, you'll notice that this area has undergone quite the dramatic change over the last couple years it's it's gone from crazy to not so crazy to a lot more organized now lately mostly with camera equipment and stuff so i started looking here and i'm like this is just a blank canvas for beautifulness for art for art like that i did some research i stumbled upon this company called wall control so they make uh, a metal pegboard instead of like the wooden ones that obviously would fail. Uh, pretty thick material from what I'm reading. I haven't had a chance to open it yet. This is going to be me opening it soon. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get a pegboard. That's fine. We'll figure all that out. Uh, this is concrete cinder block stuff. So this is uh, something where I got the concrete screws. And then I was like, all right, you know what? I need accessories. So for the last week I've been purchasing accessories. I'm going to show you a couple things before I show you a couple things. Um, we got shelves here. We got a shelf with a dowel. So my thought process is I could put a microfiber on that. That'd be cool on here. I could put the, the roll of paper towels or I could use this bar for uh, sprayers. I got pegboard um, peg locks. Don't know if I need it. I saw it. it looks cool. I got these little like crate bin things. I've got stuff to hold extension cords. I got my concrete screws. I got my drills for my concrete. This just came in. I have a whole box filled with different sized uh, bins for whatever I might need at the time. And then these two boxes I'm gonna talk about real quick. Uh, the prices for some of these wall control accessories were just insane. I'm not saying that I don't have the money to pay for the premium. I'm just saying that it's insane to pay the premium for no reason. So I started doing a lot of research. I found a YouTube video. I forget exactly which one. If I can find it again, I'll link it in the description. He was talking on a website that uh, you could get scratch and dent pieces that were wall control. Um, I think it's like cheappegboard.com or so. I'll link that below. So I went on there and the prices were significantly better. Uh, half, if not better than that. Uh, for multiple pieces so like shelving for instance was like $25 for one shelf and I think I uh, paid like 25 or 30 dollars for three shelves or it was something crazy so this I'm a little stressed out about I wanted to have a black pegboard which I got that's in here uh, but I wanted to have some red accessories and as you can see scratches and dents but you know i think when these clean up for the most part they'll be nice but i mean i love how they just throw uh everything in here like that but we've got look at all this dirt that's cool i think once uh once this gets cleaned up it'll be nice but i got as many accessories as i thought i would possibly need so in the end it actually did end up coming out to a pretty decent price but it was still costly as you can see the quality isn't horrible i mean it's not like totally totally destroyed but i mean like you can see here this is not a bad not a bad shelf i think this is, i got a nine inch shelf a six inch shelf and a four inch shelf my thought process is these are apparently 32 inches long, 16 inches wide, so I got two of them, so it would be 16, 16. So it'd be 32 by 32 to go up to here. See the quick math? Cool. Uh, then what I'll have is possibly on the top shelf, um, a nine inch shelf. I could put these sprayers. I've got like four of them, uh, two on each shelf that would possibly go all the way on the top. I got other shelves, uh, different sprayers could go up there. Um, ceramic coatings could go up there. So, uh, this was the general idea. This 
is a pretty tall thing, so I'm probably going to bring it down a little bit. Alright guys, honestly, I'm not even ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I'm out of breath. <laughs> My hands hurt. They were shaking for a second. Uh, drilling through this sucks. I don't know if it's just that uh, I have a Milwaukee brushless. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I've never done this before. I got the one up and uh, we're good with that. Uh, yes, there are extra holes because I drilled um, too big the first time and <laughs> the second time. Finally, I got the right size um, so that these would bite and not slip in like a slut coochie molly. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know what, what, the, uh, what the answer is here. But this is super tight. I don't know if I'm going to put four more on each one. I, I think six is just insane. I'm not holding that much stuff on there. I might try two for now and then, uh, you know, add two more on the top. I don't think the bottom is going to warrant having uh, that many, but I think obviously, you know, four total on each one on the top parts would uh, would be sufficient so this way it doesn't do this, um, especially since I'm putting nine inch shelves on the top. But on those nine inch shelves are empty, very light spray bottles. So anyway, I did have to move my little microfiber laundry basket thing. Uh, this used to be here. Um, I mean, I guess technically, I guess technically it could still work, but it's going to look dumb. So I'm going to find another solution to my microfiber towel uh, situation. Now I'm going to hope that when I put this, where, where the hell is it? Oh, Jesus, Christmas. I'm going to hope when I put that up there that the two screws align, it looks good, and then I won't feel like I'm going to vomit. So I'll check back in in a second. <laughs> You don't know the level of accomplishment I feel right now, getting that up there. Um, seems like it's pretty good. Um, I am moving this bench down just ever so slightly. I didn't want to get too close to this. I mean, I actively pull things off the shelf, so I figured if I was going to go any more a little bit to the left, I was going to sway on that kind of an error. It looks good. I feel excited right now. I, I guess that's what I feel. Um, yeah, so let me try to clean up all of this stuff. Um, what a freaking nightmare. What do you think? Should I put two more screws on each area? I don't know. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. So I decided to spend the time and I put four holes up here. Four. Four. How many screws did I end up putting? Two. Two. You know why? I got that in. I got that in. But this, right here, this caused a problem. My dumb ass went a little too rough. And uh, something went flying somewhere. The head completely broke off of the, uh, of the screw. And um, that is never coming out of there. And that's that. That's that. I feel all right though, because I still have one here, one here, so the force be with you, bud. This is like, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Even on the bottom, I mean, I'd have to really pull and what the hell am I hanging up on here? I, I mean, if I was putting like, you know, gardening equipment and, and a chainsaw, maybe that's what that would be for, for that extra stability, but this here, these are, uh, these are solid. So I'm going to clean up this mess. It looks like I just went to Miami and went on like a cocaine binder. This is wild. But, I mean, I had a vacuum back here anyway. So, um, yeah, beautiful. All right, so uh, I started cleaning up. Um, I think I completely overestimated um, how much room I was going to actually have here uh way too much shelving <laughs> way too much shelving i think i'm gonna try not putting the nine inch on i'm gonna put the six inch up here i think that might do a good job what i'm gonna do with the other stuff i actually have these things too one of these is actually a uh, i guess it's this one one of these is a drill protect uh a drill not protector 
one of these is a drill holder so I'll be able to hold my two drills uh, this one would be able to hold some detailing bottles obviously I cleaned off some of these they still look really good what's cool about it is I'll have the option to switch whenever honestly extremely way too many bins but I guess I could you know put them a little bit here and there uh, the thing with these is you know I guess even if I put that up I could mount the shelf probably as high as I want just so it's up out of the way the other thing that I was thinking is you know these two things are going to be on the bottom probably the shelf with the towel bar and um, this one here this shelf will be on the bottom the one with the dowel all right guys that's all I'm gonna do for today <clears throat> I was gonna wait till tomorrow but I got too damn excited um, this is gonna take weeks possibly to figure out what I'm not using because today I decided I'm not using the nine inch shelf that I bought I ended up using the six inch shelves and they work out perfect I've got a big shelf above there and I'm able to put my pump sprayers up there and then that's just the the accessories to tip to my um my air dryers my leaf blowers so I'm gonna just mess around this is not even close to the configuration the only thing for sure on this is the shelving what I might do is take this little um, towel holder off and have it so it's just a uh, enclosed type of shelf I think that would make more sense I love this tell me what you guys think in the comment section below if I should get another one of these and maybe put this one here so I have the paper towel dispenser right and then have another one here just for spray bottles like I think I could you know have it like this you know I could I think that would be cool uh, it's just something I'm tossing around I hope you enjoyed this video I'm a complete noob so please take it easy on me when it comes to my drill I have a Milwaukee but I'm sure it wasn't charged enough or somebody's gonna say it's not up to the specific specifications and it doesn't have enough gigawatts of some kind of uh, flux capacitor power something that I don't know and listen that's fine I don't know but you know what I do know is that this is gonna look badass I somehow pulled it off. I'm proud of myself. I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's a cool little project if you're into that kind of thing. So, so far I've got lighting that we're adding that was looking cool. I've got the shelf that's going to look awesome. Incorporate everything. I think I know. So, we'll see. Uh, but that's it. I, I don't really want to go too far into it. As I said, there's too many little trinkets. I don't know what the final configuration is. When I do figure that out, I'll do another video, but this is what it looks like. This is a wall control pegboard. Uh, I'll leave links to some of the stuff, uh, especially the cheapo uh, scratch and dent because you can't really even tell. You can't, those are scratch and dent shelves. Uh, how are you gonna tell? I'm gonna scratch and dent them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, save yourself some money. These things can get expensive, um, but that was totally worth it, totally worth it. And like I said, that many screws holding that up there, I think is way more than sufficient. So that's really all I got to say about that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you are an OCD OG, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it. That's all I have for you today. Looks pretty damn cool. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good night. Hope you're having a good year so far. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay humble. I'll catch you guys on the next one.